Hello, everyone. Still on this, President Bola Metunubu led Nigerian government versus Namdi Kanun Saga. The leader of Biafra Independent Movement Chief Rafael Wazuriki has spotted how South East governors and senators have been politicizing possible of detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo Namde Kano. Wazirike, who is the founder of Movement for the Actualization of Sovereign State of Biafra, Masop, said even President Bola Metunubu does not have the absolute powers to order Kano's immediate release without seeking advice from the National Security Advisor. NSA. In a statement on Saturday by the group's director of information, Mazi Christ Machi Wazurike said, It was not the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, who is a government lawyer, or the President, who is the Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces, is holding colonel by the security chiefs. Rather than meet the service chiefs, including the Inspector General of Police, IGP, Chief of Naval Staff, Chief of Health Staff, and Chief of Defense Staff, Defense Staff, Wazirike forted the approach being taken by the governors and senators from the zone. He advised the governors from the region to meet the NSA with convincing security reports on why Namdekanu should be free. He stated that rather than meeting the NSA, who usually advises the president based on available security reports, the governors and senators were busy harboring in Abuja, taking photographs and claiming to be working for his possible release without following the proper procedures. Meanwhile, there are strong indications that the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra I Pop Mazinam the Kanu may not walk out of detention until he fulfills proposed conditions outlined for him by the federal government. And one of those conditions, Sunday Telegram gathered, is to sign a document denouncing further agitations once he is freed. Competent sources within the corridors of power informed this newspaper that. It was a similar condition given to the president of Mietihala Katuhori Bello Bodije, who was freed late May, after the federal government withdrew charges against him through the office of the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Prince Latif San. Sunday Telegraph was informed that Kanu would be required to commit to no further agitations once he is released. There are indications ongoing through different channels. The federal government is willing to release him because of pressure from different quarters, but not unconditionally. He will meet with terms which even the Southeast governors and leaders know. One of such is not to disturb the country with its agitations again, said a source. Kano has been detained by the Department of State Service the DSS, since 2022, when he was flown in from Kenya under the President Bola, under President Muhammad Buhari's regime. Sources conversant with the behind the Saints moves to let him off the hook, confided in Sunday Telegraph that a political option is in the offing. This was even as it was revealed that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and members of his inner circle are amenable to the opinion. However, this may be delayed a little as the president wants an assurance that he would drop the agitation and resign his supporters who have been imposing stay-at-home order on the residents of the southeast state of Abia, Anambra, Eboi, Enugu, and Imo. Okay, 
the southeast states of Abia, Anambra, Ibuin, Enugu, and Imo of recent. There has been various calls from across the country for the release of Namdi Kano. These calls become strident following the release of Sandy Ibu and Belu Bodijo. Last week, senators from the Southeast Zone met with the AGF and pleaded with him for the release of Kano. So as it is right now, uh, there's going to be a struggling uh, block on the way because the question is, would Mazen Namdi Kano accept that? Will he accept that? Because he has once said Biafra or death. If the federal government say, uh, stop agitating, ask your supporters to stop agitating for Biafra nation and all that, will he ever agree? Anyway, let's see how things unfold in future. Wazurike criticized the Southeast governors and senators for politicizing Kano's potential release. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Back, share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now.